In front of the National Historical Museum of Lithuania, uh, we can see uh, the monument to King Mindaugas or Mindovk. He is the founder of the first dynasty of Lithuanian princes and the first ruler of the Grand Duke of Lithuania. Uh, the coronation took place in June of 1253 and the monument itself was opened in 2003. So here is already the historical museum, some photos how this museum looked like in the middle of 20th century. Uh, some playroom uh, for children <laughs> where they play and uh, to uh, learn history in parallel way. Some uh, specially uh, open bricks uh, to see original ones. And the museum uh, consists uh, two floors. Uh, second, fl uh, another floor, upper floor. It's uh, there is uh, uh, mostly national costumes or ethnography, and the first floor is dedicated to uh, history. Uh, to regret, uh, there are not so many exhibits. Uh, but why? First of all, uh, because uh, the museum uh, was, uh, as the museum was arranged, established, or founded in 1855, uh, after the uprising in uh, 1863, rising Lithuanian people against uh, Russian Empire, uh, all the museum items were transferred to Moscow. And uh, another reason why there are not so many exhibits, uh, because in uh, 1915, when the Eastern Front of the Front of the First World War approached Vilnius, most of the exhibits also were again delivered to Russia. So I mean, uh, now most historical exponents are being held in Russia, in, yeah, in Moscow. Anyway, uh, the museum uh, was uh, recovered step by step and. Uh, he was opened, reopened again in uh, 1967, and uh, now it's located in the current building. And when the Lithuanian declared independence, uh, it was converted into the National Museum of Lithuania. Uh, very interesting uh, uh, these boxes, yeah, and uh, moreover the uh, locks, as you see, it's uh, very complicated for the time uh, locking construction. Here is already another floor and uh, this floor is dedicated to the uh, uh, let's to say Moji of Lithuania nation. Yeah, generally uh, you know Lithuania is small country but anyway uh, there are also different cost national costumes in different corners of Republic <laughs> so it's very interesting uh, to learn it. And also there are some, uh, uh, maybe three or four, I don't remember exactly, uh, uh, inter uh, inter interior of Lithuanian houses uh, or villagers. So you can uh, deeply understand how these people lived in 18th, 19th century. Anyway, uh, I strongly recommend you to visit this museum because uh, really you will pick up a lot of interesting facts about uh, the country.